Hello there, welcome or welcome back to Beauty Bees. I realized that I had not filmed my deck of panning update and then I saw a bunch of deck of panning updates go up in the last like three or four days and realized I should probably do that. So here is my July update. I was working on seven products this past month. I drew two draw another prompt cards last month. Seven is too many. I'm glad that I've actually hit my goal on four products this month. So that brings me down to three that I still have and I will add in another two and that, boom, is five. So let's get into it. Let's start with the products that will be staying with me for another month. First up, we have this Sydney Grace Liquid Eyeshadow. This will last me like four and a half eternities, you guys. This is in the shade Destination Wedding. It is a peachy gold on me. I find this it pulls a lot more pink peach than gold. It's pretty, but you just need the tiniest, tiniest little drop. And that's enough for both eyes. And there's a lot in here. This is a 10 mil product. It doesn't seem that huge when I look at it, but oh my goodness. Anyway, I have used this twice. I, my goal is 10 uses, so eight more uses to go. Another product that I have not gotten great use on is from e.l.f. This is their liner. It is a gel pot liner in this really pretty purple shade. This is actually a pretty terrible liner. <laughs> um, I think it's partially just my skin tone. This light purple doesn't really provide enough contrast for me to enjoy it as a liner like when I apply it like in a wing like I'm wearing today it just looks like I misplaced eyeshadow somewhat however this makes a great base for purple eyeshadows I've used it that way twice so far and I've decided I'm going to keep this I'm going to get my eight more uses on it my goal was to hit 10 uses or decide that I was ready to declutter it. So eight more uses to go it is. And then finally, this product, this is the Essence Lip Care Booster Lip Serum in the peach shade scent. Um, I marked it here last month. And I've used it quite a bit, but yet it still seems like I should be marking it at the same point. So I'm not sure what's up with that. I don't know if it's just stuck to the walls a little bit and I'm actually way further along. It's really hard to tell. Anyway, my goal is to finish this, so I'll just keep trucking with it. And at some point, I will probably finish it and I will let you know. So there are the products that are staying with me for another month. The products that I have hit, I think all of these goals were 10 uses actually, are up next. And we're going to start with the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Powder. My goal was to use this 10 times. This is a sample. It is a loose powder. And if I remember correctly, I have a ton stuck in the lid. So I'm not going to open it right now. It's okay. I'm not wild about this. I don't like specifically put concealer on and then set my under eye. If I did, I think this would be perfect. But I tend to just use a loose powder all over my face if I'm going to use a loose powder. And I think that this is just so light that when I try to use it that way, it feels like I'm living in a cloud for a couple of seconds. And not in a good way because when I said it out loud, that sounded kind of delightful, but I've hit my 10 uses. I'm ready to move in some new things. So that product, I think I've had in for two months. I've also had this Pat McGrath Bridgerton lipstick in for two months. This is in Venusian Peach. And I haven't used that much of this lipstick, but the little gold foil at the top and the bottom is starting to wear off, which I would expect if this was like a wet and wild lipstick, but Pat, this was originally like $30. Yeah, I got it for like $12 at Nordstrom, at, not Nordstrom Rack, um, TJ Maxx, but still, 
here is how much of the lipstick I have left. This is a really pretty shade, super easy to wear for every day. I think I got eight uses in the first month. So I think within like two or three days of my last update, I had hit my goal on this product, but I've still been using it every once in a while because it's just such a lovely, easy shade. I really like this lipstick. It goes with almost anything. Not to the same extent though as this lip B. I love this thing. This is from NARS. This is the shade Vaseline in their, what are these called? Afterglow Lip Balms. This has been living in my purse the last month, almost every day at work, um, whatever I've applied in the morning, this has been what I've been applying like after lunch or in the afternoon. I've used it way more than the 10 times. It's actually starting to look really, really well used. I think it's hard to tell when it's rolled up, but when it's rolled down, I think you can see I've used at least a third, maybe approaching half of this lippy. Really happy with that. It's so easy. It's a very neutral, easy shade for me to wear. It's not too warm. It's not too cool. It's not too pigmented, but it does give enough color that it the face doesn't feel lopsided if I'm wearing, you know, not a ton of eye makeup, but more than a little bit of eye makeup and bare lips to me just feels really off having at least something and this something hits a really good balance for me super pretty really enjoy it don't need a mirror to apply and that is so nice to have with me during the day then the last product that i hit my 10 uses on was from the Tarte Sugar Rush line. This is their Summer Playlist Eye and Cheek Palette. Now my goal with all of the eyeshadow palettes that I've brought in this year, I think, at least all of the eyeshadow palettes I've brought in this project recently, has been to hit 10 uses on the palette overall, but then to use each of the, the shades in the palette at least once. And I have hit that goal with this palette. I've used the blush several times. I'm actually wearing a little bit of the blush today, but I've mixed it with a glowy blush lighter from Wet n Wild. So if you're not getting a really pure idea of what the blush itself looks like, there are three matte eyeshadows and then one shimmer shadow. I am not very happy with the shimmer shadow. I found that that got hard pan really, really quickly. Like within two uses, it has a significant amount of hard pan, but these three matte shadows are a really nice formula. I wish that this shadow was better because I think this would be a really, really nice little travel palette if that was the case, but this bronze shade is not where it's at. I think it'll get some color off, but there's some definite hard pan there. Anyway, this was a uh, much ignored palette in my collection. Now I've used it, well, I've, I've used it more than 10 times in the past month, and I've used it several times before that, but it's at least better used now than it was at the beginning of the month, so that's good. Okay, I feel like I went through that really fast, but it's time to draw my two products for next month, I should probably get the prompt list pulled up. I think that would be helpful. So I didn't say it earlier, but this is, um, this whole project was started by Emily and Matt. Her video is always linked down in the description box of these videos. I would really recommend if you are interested in trying this project, which I would totally recommend because it's a lot of fun, you should definitely check out her video. There are quite a lot of rules that go into this and I am not equipped to give a good explanation. She is more than equipped to give an excellent explanation of that. So I have my prompts list pulled up. I pre-shuffled my deck of cards. So let's split it here and two from the top. 
seven of spades and the king of clubs so i think i actually got the king of clubs last month too and because it is a face card that means that the prompt for the king doesn't change from month to month so this is a splurge product and then the seven of spades will be let's see something glowy okay i can do that let me grab the products and we will check back in just a minute here to see what i'm working on in august so when i sit down to film i usually have an idea of what i would like to bring in if the prompts allow for it and this month i was able to bring in exactly what i wanted so for a glowy product i decided to bring in this Camelina and Strobe Luminizing Primer from Seraphine Botanicals. Seraphine, yes, Seraphine Botanicals. And they say this is a primer. I feel like this would be exceedingly glowy to have all over your face in the way that I would usually use a face primer. But in a targeted way, especially if I am wearing face powder that day i would like to apply this underneath and then put the powder on top and i find that that is a really pretty glowy effect on the cheekbones on the tip of my nose up here under my brow it's really pretty so here that is swatched out my goal is going to be to use that 10 times and then for a splurge product, I brought in this Natasha Denona palette. This is the Cupid palette, and I will swatch it out. Like all of the other eye palettes that I've been bringing in recently, my goal with this one is going to be to use it 10 times overall and to use each of the five shades at least once in those 10 uses. So... I'm realizing that I swatched over the strobe primer. That's fine. Here is the color scheme I'll be working with. It is a very reddish scheme, but I don't think it looks as reddish swatched out as it does in the palette. I think that having that really bold red background really brings out the red in all of these shades. I actually find these a little bit easier to wear than I would probably think based on what they look like in the pan okay so 10 uses for both of those and then i have eight uses remaining on both of these products the sydney grace eyeshadow and the elf eyeliner and then i have goodness knows how many uses left on this essence thank goodness i did not pull another add another prompt because i could not have dealt with that this month i think i would have thrown something Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you're doing this project, I would love to know how it's going for you. Hopefully you have not been hit with the Joker or the draw another card too many times. Luckily, oh shoot, I've been forgetting to draw my Jokers. That's okay. Whatever. Um, we'll just glide right past that. Thanks again for watching. Hope I see you guys next time. Bye.